Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo ThinkBook laptop. This one is a Lenovo ThinkBook 14-IIL, the model name is a 20SL. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can clean the fan system, the heat sink and replace the CPU for your laptop. It is very easy and you should be doing your own servicing and maintenance once every year, year and a half depending how often you use the laptop or what kind of heavy load that you have on it. There's no exact date uh, for it to do, so I recommend you guys to do it once a year. In a year you open it up and if you see that it's too clean, just bump up the time for a year and a half to two years until you find out your exact date time, exact time. All right, this is not a benchmark or anything like that, it's just a simply opening and cleaning regular maintenance. It's like having a car and you want to do an oil change that you have to do it even if the car turns on. All right, with all this said, we're going to get it started. By doing a repaste and cleaning, you're not changing any configuration, anything on the motherboard or any on the windows. It's just safe, simply cleaning. All right, power off the laptop, flip it upside down, and grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. From this tool set, we're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tool and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and power. With all this, we're going to get it started. First, we're going to remove all the screws on the bottom cover. So go ahead and start from one corner and remove all the screws, the one in the middle, down in there, in the middle, on the sides, the heading, but you can remove all of them. They're all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Keep them in a separate file. Also, if you guys like my video, if you find my video helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. This is screw right over here, it's kind of tight. All right, now that we removed all the screws, what we're gonna do here is just grab the opening tool and we're gonna jam it between the palm rest and the bottom cover like that. All you wanna do, you wanna twist it outward like that and you wanna hear those click sound. That's what you wanna do, you wanna twist it outward and you wanna see the bottom cover open. You wanna work yourself all around in the front, do the same thing on the side, left and the right side. You want to push the metal aluminum outward gently and it will come apart to the left and the right side. And you're going to see how easily it will come out. And then close up the screen, lift up the bottom cover, bring it up and it will just rem remove itself. There's a dust mesh here. Use a toothbrush to remove it. Uh, clean it up. Use our new toothbrush. All right, I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one, it's uh, alcohol. Isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol, 98% or 99% is very important. Second tool is a workshop towel. Grab yourself a workshop towel. The reason is because as soon as you put that alcohol on top and you clean the laptop with components, it will not damage because it will rip apart before it can damage any components. And a good thermal paste, I'll be using an Arctic MX4. You can use an Arctic MX6. Or if you want to go overboard and crazy a little bit with a budget, go Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. These are one of the best, but I really like using Arctic MX4 or MX6 for this laptop. And after this one, you need a tweezers. Uh, pointy tweezers are good to have. All right, with all this on hand, we can get it started. I hope I haven't missed any. I did. All right, first thing first, you're going to disconnect the battery. You want to pull this cable backward. So grab it by the neck here and slide it back like that so you can disconnect. Next, we don't want to disconnect the fan by pulling these cables up. They're really fragile. I don't know if you guys can see. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to hold it by the neck of the connector. I'm going to wiggle around. I can disconnect it by holding the corner so I don't stress those cables. All right, next. We're gonna start removing the screws first. Let's before we remove the screws, I see a tape right in here. There's a gaffer's tape. Let's remove this gaffer's tape from here. 
Okay. There's nothing holding it, so you can actually you don't need to, you can leave it on, but it's on its side. We're gonna remove one screw for the fan right here. And one screw right over here. So there's a two screws for the fan in here. You can lift it up, bring it up. You you can go ahead and untangle the power connector here around the fan. So it's kind of zigzagged all around here. And then lift it up, the Wi-Fi cables in there, and pull it backward. There you go. So you get it nice and dust clogged in there. So you can clean it up with a toothbrush. Use a toothbrush to clean it and blow some air outside. Now we need to remove the heatsink. There's a four screw that holds the heatsink in place. Remove these four screws. Once you remove the screws, you want to grab it by the hinge here and you want to move it around and it will release itself. And there we have a whole bunch of thermal paste in here. Now I'm going to take it outside first, clean up the dust in here with a toothbrush and I'll be back. All right, now that I clean up the dust, we're going to grab a little bit of workshop towel. We're going to soak it in an alcohol, spray it right on top and we're going to remove the excess of the Thermal paste over the CPU. I'm gonna fold it inside out. Do as much as alcohol is not conductive, so that's what I'm saying. Use a 98%. There we go. Use the same towel to remove the excess. Don't bend the tubing, it's very important. Be careful with the tubing. Don't bend it. Nice and clean. What you want to do here, put one drop on a main CPU die. On the second die, is that called PCS chip? That's for the power transfer and the secondary chip, but now they have it in the same CPU socket. You want to bring the heating down straight right on the screw holes. You can also wipe and clean up the down there. Is nice and clean. Put the four screws on the heatsink. Make sure you always cross screw them. You cross each other. So if I do one right over here, I'm gonna do the second one right on this side. The reason that we cross screw them so that way the thermal paste evenly spreads around the CPU so it doesn't get pushed away to one side. Once you have the CPU, the heatsink locked in, you're gonna grab the fan and we're gonna slide it right in there. And we're gonna run the cables. Before we put run the cables, we can put the screws on. The cables don't have to go around the exactly where they ha they are in there. They can be on the side, but. Doesn't matter how you put it, it's still, as long as it doesn't get pinched by the cover, you're fine. Grab the connector for the fan, push it in there. Be careful with the cables. Put the two screws for the fan. And pretty much we are done. This gaffer's tape, if it's not a sticky, don't put it. It's going to get sucked into the fan and it's going to get clogged up so don't even put it you don't need to this gaffer's tape is to hold the cable in place in there but it's not going to go anywhere but again you can buy a gaffer's tape to just tape that one in there but absolutely not necessary all right once we are is nicely cleaned and everything is in place what you want to do you want to grab the battery connector slide it inside the jack and pinch it right in there all right to finish it up just grab the bottom cover Double check everything is okay in place. Bring it over, put it right on top, and push it down, and squeeze it down, and make sure you hear those nice click sounds. That's what you want to hear. Once it's in place, 
Just grab the bottom screws and put it on the bottom cover. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own service for your Lenovo ThinkBook 14 IIL model. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screw.